Hey everyone, I'm really excited about this video because it's become a huge obsession for me. I've mentioned this company a lot on, on my social media, here on YouTube as well, and I thought my collection has grown so much that it deserves its own video. I'm talking about, if the title isn't clear enough, I'm talking about my Bobble Bar collection. And I want to let you know a little bit about the company, from what I've learned, and how I found it, and all that good stuff. So I not only watch YouTube videos, I mean I'm a fan of watching YouTube videos, but I also follow a few blogs. And one of the blogs that I followed for a little bit now is the Courtney Kerr. You may have seen her show on Bravo, Courtney Loves Dallas, and I just really like her style. I don't know if I could really dress like her exactly, because one, she's I think six inches taller than me and probably 20 pounds less than me and significantly younger than me, but I admire her style and the way she puts things together, and so I follow her blog. And she's always mentioning accessories that she got at this bubble bar place, which I had vaguely heard of before. So I finally clicked on one of the links and discovered this whole new world. And I quickly got sucked in and bought quite a few things. So I want to show you and tell you a little bit about them. So Bobble Bar is a, I guess it's a jewelry company online, although they are starting now to branch out. They actually just this week launch or last week launched some pop-up stores in I think it's 30 or 35 Nordstrom stores all over the country which is exciting I haven't seen the one that's here in San Antonio yet they also had a collection in anthropology which sad to say I didn't get to see that either but I have been pretty well satisfied with what I found online what I really really like about Bobble Bar is they're trendy pieces and for me I don't want to invest a lot of money in something trendy Usually I bought my trendier type stuff like at Target or Francesca's, but because their prices are so low and they have free shipping, it actually, I end up spending less money getting stuff on Bobble Bar. And I'll tell you this secret. So you go on to BobbleBar.com and you sign up, you know, with your email to get their emails and alerts. And then every Friday, they have, a, Friday and Monday, they have what's called a buried bobble. Get it? Bobble Bar. And they have something that's special on sale for $10 on Friday and then something else that's on sale on Monday for $20. So once in a while I get the $20 item, but almost every Friday I find myself buying the $10 item and things have just piled up. And what's great is they have free shipping, so it's just 10 bucks. Like there's no tax, there's no delivery, um, and it's, it's not so painful when it's only $10 at a time. You can get, it doesn't come, I'd say, shipping usually takes about a week, week and a half. It's not the fastest in the world. If you want to pay more, of course, you can get it there. I think it's, second day shipping is $20, and um, like third day shipping or something is $15, but I'm happy to wait the week and a half. I don't need instant gratification. So that's one way of growing your collection really quickly, is just buying the buried bobble stuff, especially on Fridays when it's only 10 bucks. And the other thing is that every time you make a purchase, once you have an account with them, you know, which is free, you start getting points for the money you spent. And then you can cash in those points against the purchase price of another object that I believe you can only use on something that's actually full price. So I ordered enough stuff that I've actually gotten a few things for like a dollar. I'll show you one thing I got for a dollar and so forth. Anyway, yeah. Then they have sales all the time. There's just, it's, I like it because it's easy. I can shop from home. I can peruse their pages. It's, it's easy. And the other thing I like about it is that for almost every item they have online, they not only have a picture of like a model wearing it, which is nice, but they also have, you can upload your own selfies and they'll put them on the product page. And so you can see how normal people wear them and what combinations and with what outfits and things like that. And I find that very helpful because I still struggle with how to put myself together with clothing and accessories. So anyway, that's Pretty much I think all the basic information you need to know about Bobble Bar, there's one more thing that I kind of hinted at, their guest bartender program, and they pick what they call influencers, which are like bloggers, YouTubers, they had Georgetown Cupcake, the people who make cupcakes on there, and basically when you're a guest bartender, you get to pick your own, curate your own collection, and um, that's how I found Bobble Bar through Courtney Kerr. She has now two collections through Bobble Bar, and I just found out that Ingrid, Miss Glamorazzi, has one or maybe two on there as well. There's a whole bunch. So anyway, really cool pieces. Um, it's neat to see that they're recognizing that bloggers and YouTubers um, have some influence, I guess, in the fashion world. So that's fun to see um, people that I follow on YouTube and, and read their blogs have an interesting experience. But enough blabbing about Bobble Bart. Let me show you the goodies that I got. So 
Um, these you've seen probably in quite a few videos. I actually wore them on TV when I was in San Antonio living and um, I don't remember the names of all of the products. I will link them all down below. The one thing I will mention is sometimes the stuff doesn't stay on the site for long. So this may not be available anymore. If I find something that's similar, I will always link it. But these are just Pave Link. Um, I'll take one off. They're, they can be very fancy and dressy, but I like to just wear them with a t-shirt and jeans. And they're just, um, it's a metal link. And then the, the Pave fakes, you know, studs and the little ball thing. Anyway, so I found that they've held up very well. I'm not particularly gentle on my jewelry. I'll throw, you know, take it off and throw it on a dresser and it falls on the floor, but they've held up really well. My obsession are these mini Pave links. Um, they, there's one that I really like that the links are really, really big, but it's $78 and I'm saving up points. But anyway, I got this one. It's, I think, in hematite, and then this one is the silver one. And just today, this one came, and this is the gold one. And I can wear, I should probably just wear all three. They all come, all their pieces have this cute little bobble bar tag that hangs on there. They're just fun, and they now come, actually Courtney Kerr was the one who launched it with them. They come in colors, like blue and red and pink and coral, and you can stack them, and they're, they're fun. So that's that. Um, this particular set you've seen a lot. It's called their Pyramid Stud Bracelet, and I actually ordered it in all three colors, the silver, the rose gold, although to me that looks like copper, and gold. Um, my rose gold is showing some wear. Not a lot. And I wear it almost every day. It's on a stretch, they're stretchy. I believe I got these for $10 a piece. Then they're having a clearance sale over the holidays and I picked up two more so I could kinda interchange them. They only have them in these two colors. So it's the same pyramid, but then they have the, kinda like the pave crystals in there as well. They're fun. I tend to not go with, for. they have a lot of statement big pieces with enamel and bright colors and stuff. I tend to avoid that stuff, but um, I may branch out. Then as far as earrings go, I've showed you these. And then I have just a handful of other ones. I don't even know what these are called, like fluoro drops, I want to say. I just thought the neon pink and orange was really versatile. It actually goes with a lot more than you think. And I could wear it with bigger statement. I'm trying to collect more studs so I can wear my big statement necklaces and not have the earrings compete. Like I think dangly earrings and a big necklace is a little much. And then the other fun ones I got, I actually bought these to go with um, my hot pink sequin lip sweatshirt that a certain someone can't stand, but I, I wear these with other things and they're just um, like hot neon pink, big faceted stone studs or crystal studs. And then these I got on special. These were 10 bucks each, and I couldn't make up my mind, so I got three of them. They're these little balls with pave crystals, and I got them in blue. And I got them in, whoops, I dropped one on the floor, but I got one in pink. If we can get it to focus. And then I just got, um, I don't think they're clear. I think they're white. So I got those. So that's it for the earrings. And then I went a little crazy with the necklaces as well. So you've all seen what I fondly refer to as my Mr. T necklace. It's the Courtney bib, because Courtney Kerr came out with it, and this sucker is heavy. And it, um, I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely a workout on the neck to wear it. And it has just a regular clasp, and you can decide how long you want it to lay down. Um, it only comes in gold, as far as I know. And it is definitely a statement piece, but I fell in love with this when I saw this on Courtney's blog. She wears this a lot, as she should, since it was named for her. And it's a pretty, it's hefty, but it's probably my favorite piece out of the collection. Uh, this necklace I got for a dollar, with all my points, and it is called the Houston necklace, and it comes in silver and gold. Doesn't look like much. I actually wore this on San Antonio Living as well. I really am excited. I saw this on their website with um, it's like a pearl orb necklace layered and it looks really pretty and I'm, that's next on my wish list, but it is currently out of stock, so I'm just waiting. I really like how they show you ideas on how to layer their pieces and wear them together and because like I said, I'm not really good at that. So that's what that looks like, but when you, you know, wear it, it doesn't, the links don't quite separate as much. I think this is a fun 
pretty neutral necklace. And then, this one I've only worn once. I'm thinking I'm gonna get more wear out of this in the summer. I saw Courtney Kerr wearing this one too, this I think is part of her collection. She has it in silver. I liked it in gold because I don't really have a lot of long necklaces in gold. I have a lot of long necklaces in silver. And I, I think it's the Lariat. So it's this like really old school ropey gold. If any of you remember those 80s necklaces? But um, it's really long and you knot it. You can knot it wherever you want. And then the bottom has these tassels, just gold tassels, and then it has these little bars with crystals. So what's cool about this one is you can untie it and then it becomes, you can tie it however long or short you want to wear it or where you want the knot to be or you can maybe not tie it at all. So it's really just one strand. So I guess, you know, you could like wrap it around your neck a bunch of times, wear it like a, like a scarf almost. Let's see, hang on. You could, you know, basically wear it like a scarf and then tie it. It's very versatile, but I like wearing it long with the knot. So I'm just gonna leave that on for now. And then the two other necklaces, I've shown you this in a video before. They re-released some new summer colors. It's the potpourri bib. I got this pretty kind of mm, soft green, I guess you'd say. And then this I got during their clearance sale. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I was kind of hoping in my head to layer a bunch of pearl necklaces, but so far this is the only one I have. Um, I think I got this for like five bucks, so it was worth it, but it's just a strand of obviously fake pearls with this blingy bit on it. And I just think layered with a bunch of other pearls, it could look pretty neat. I don't know, I was maybe having a Jackie O moment when I went for that one, but for what I paid for it, I'm sure I will find some use for it. And then the last two things that I have, you've seen a million times, I, I showed them in a haul or something, is these two necklaces. This one is the Evil Eye, oops, come back here, in gold. You know what I do have two, another necklace. This one is the Hamsa hand in silver with the blue dot. And then this one was kind of neat because I have a problem coordinating my layering pieces. And it's no longer available on the site, but they have very similar layering necklaces where the necklace comes already layered. Like it's already all, att it's all attached, it's one piece. And this one is just two little pave flat discs. Again, almost every single thing I bought here was on sale for $10 or less. So there are lots of other things you can buy for a lot more money, but I highly recommend just waiting for the buried bauble, buying those Fridays and Mondays, get your points going, and then cash in your points to get some of the more expensive items. I hope you like it. If you have any bauble bar pieces that you think are a must have and I need to add to my collection, please let me know. Um, I've really had a lot of fun with this, kind of going out of my comfort zone. Normally I'm all about buying makeup, but this has been a nice addition to my collection and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So thank you so much for watching and um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.